Looking at this list of rich players, we can obviously easily tell that Leah is the richest player even after three years. Nobody has been able to pass her no matter what. But why? How the heck did she make 1.1 billion cash in the span of three years of Jailbreak's release. Back in 2018-2017, Jailbreak only had about three-ish robberies. When 2019 came, some of the robberies started to give more cash, which also made it easy for Leah to make more cash. But then the power plan came, which was a very, very big game changer. The power plan gave the ability to make more cash if you were fast enough, which was a advantage for Leah as she's very fast at robbing things with the grinding method she had. Our grinding method was the museum, power plant, train, and jewelry store repeat and we would follow the cycle for the next two years all the way up to 2020 when she first hit 1 billion cash live but how did she manage to obtain a spaceship even though a simo regrets giving it to her now the reason i have all this cash i used to grind with leah back in those days as you can see from these videos this is a video from 2019 but here's the fun fact nobody knew who leah was as the richest jailbreak player and the reason for this is because every time me and leah would grind or make videos or every time i wanted to make videos grinding jailbreak i had to blur out her cash so that nobody actually knew how much cash she had and so nobody even tried to pass her as her cash was mysterious and there was no way to compete now let's say i was to blur my cash right now like you guys have no idea what my cash amount is and i never ever showed it off in any of my videos for the next two years and then by next year i have like freaking 500 million wouldn't that kind of shock you no that was basically the strategy blurring her cash every time i played with her i had to blur her cash amount or else i would get in trouble and you don't want to know what happens i think she had about 300 million in this screenshot by the end of 2019 she had about 600 million she would wake up at around 8 a.m and just start grinding all the way to 9 p.m she had no life bro oh. the strategy was to hide her cash because let's say the second richest player has like 600 million cash and nobody still knows how much cash leah has because of her hidden cash strategy she is probably at 900 million while the other players at 600 million thinking she's close to leah but she's not that was the strategy all the way up till 2019 of October when Creepcraft first made video on Leah finally revealing how much cash she had to the world. And the way as well that she hid her cash is by only playing in VIP servers and she hasn't even touched the jailbreak public servers in the past two years. Rich jailbreak players back then were a really big topic. And of course, a lot of people were shocked by the fact that she had so much cash. A lot of people thought she was auto robbing and opening safes, but that wasn't the case because I've been grinding with her for that long and obviously she's never auto robbed she's a mobile player as well which was enough proof that she's never auto robbed even though she got a lot of hate which she expected which is why she was hiding her cash as well she just took the risk in 2020 she finally hit 1 billion cash after hiding the amount of cash she had for two years from the public she then in 2019 revealed how much cash she had to then finally hitting 1 billion cash this was obviously a very big moment for her as this was a goal for a very long time and then unexpectedly she got a vehicle which she she doesn't use because she quit like a week later after hitting 1 billion cash after she hit a billion that was it she didn't want to continue grinding she didn't want to play the game anymore because of the toxicity now for the past two to three years that i was grinding with her the plan was to hit a billion and then quit now i don't know why this was the plan but as soon as she wanted to hit a billion she wanted to quit like the week after and focus on her life will she ever return of course the answer is very obvious no I mean, I've talked to her a couple of days ago. I'm not going to obviously show DMs, but she's just busy with real life. That also begs the question, if she was going to quit after hitting a billion cash, why did she do it? Of course, at the time, Jailbreak was in a much higher player count and had more interest. So as a lot of these rich players auto-robbed, as a lot of them just casually opened safes to get to 1 billion cash, Leah, even today, is the only legit player because she's a mobile player, which is what makes her the most unique Jailbreak player to ever play Jailbreak. She just wanted to stand out from the crowd as the richest mobile jewelry player now look here's my proposal if this video hits 1000 likes i will bring her back to jailbreak for a month i will make sure she grinds jailbreak for at least a month but as well as that i will log into her accounts and grind for her as well as of course maybe the spaceship i'll go into trading and do some stuff i won't obviously give the spaceship away i'm probably not allowed to but we'll play on her account we'll go on her spaceship and i'll bring leah back for a month if this video hits 1000 likes